In this video, I'm going to discuss the phenomenon of the dying octopus. If you own a gym, especially if you own like a CrossFit gym, and this gym happens to have aerodynes or solid bikes or something like that, you are very familiar with the dying octopus phenomenon, and you as a coach may not even understand that's a problem. And in this video, I'm going to break down for you that letting people flop around like a dying octopus is not useful to them. Um, and we'll show you how in uh, both these video or both these uh, clips coming up, I'm able to produce the same amount, about 1600 or 750 to 1800 calories per hour on my vintage 1995 Airdyne in both ways. One of them, which is extremely efficient and can be used uh, repeatedly over and over and one which uh, cannot and you'll understand exactly what I'm talking about so you know of course the dying octopus if you need to dive into that for some reason because you think it is gonna help you win the last heat of the uh, local throwdown that has no money involved in it then go right ahead but for the majority of your training and probably for all of your competing, you need to understand that efficiency is power, it's repeatable, and you can sustain it for much more, um, you know, for much longer time than you can the other way. So, I'm going to talk to you about efficiency on the airdyne here. So, we're going to do sprints 30 seconds on 30 seconds slow, and I'm showing you how being efficient can be awesome and can help you produce a lot of power without you having to flop around all over the place. Now there's a couple of reasons for this because number one, if I'm in good solid shapes like this where I'm just pushing and pulling with my feet, staying, keeping my rib cage down over my pelvis, I'm able to create good mechanical breathing efficiency. I'm able to have repeatable efforts because I'm not, you know, I'm going very hard, but I'm not tapping deep deep into like my sympathetic response exercise where I'm treating this aerodyne like something I should be scared of. I need to attack it because uh, what's going to happen here in the next 30 seconds you're going to see is so what I typically see. This is I see lots of this on the Instagrams or on the YouTubes. People are called the dying octopus attacking their aerodyne like it's a bear trying to kill them in the woods and I want to what I want you to understand is in all three of these videos, so I did an efficient one first for 30 seconds, and then this weird thing that for some reason people think is an acceptable way to ride their bike. And then I'm gonna do a third one coming up. That's it, another efficient 30 seconds on the bike. And what I want you to, to understand is in all three of these I'm hitting around 1800 calories per hour on my vintage airdyne so sometimes looking like you're working hard just means that you're wasting energy and you could be working a lot harder for a lot longer and with more repeatable efforts with better breathing mechanics than you are when you're just flopping around all over on the bike like a psychopath you know there's <laughs> there's no reason to do that people do it because someone that they look up to in the world of fitness sporting that's how they ride the bike and yeah it looks like they're working really hard and you know for the instagram likes it's like yeah you're on the grind bro but really all you're doing is being inefficient and making it harder on yourself and yeah, you can dive into that if you absolutely need to at a competition, but to train that way is uh, kind of weird. So make sure you take a look at your efficiency and notice that a lot of times you can produce just as much wattage without being crazy. Later.